year, more than half a million pets are affected by house fires. But now the Charleston Fire Department has new gear to help our four-legged friends, and it's the first of its kind in the state. 13 News reporter Hannah Gatz joins us now live in the studio with more on that. Hannah. Is a great example of neighbors helping neighbors, all in hopes of bettering our community. It's not your typical firefighting equipment, but now the Charleston Fire Department has some specifically made for pets. They're life-saving bags for dogs that have gotten, you know, um, I guess damaged in a house fire or smoke, smoke inhalation or something like that. It's very common for the CFD to have both humans and animals as patients at house fires. But until now, the department wasn't equipped to deal with pet emergencies. A air mask, we can hook oxygen up to them. Uh, we had a water bowl. Mike Richardson lives just up the road from the fire station with his two golden doodles, Rusty and Gunner, and he decided that he wanted to help out. He'd heard about the life-saving equipment, but... When I looked online, there, there wasn't a local station that had one of these here, and so but for these guys, you know, if something were to happen to him, I'd like for him to have something like this, just in case. For his birthday, Mike asked his Facebook friends to make a small donation, and with the money, he ordered the station a Fido bag. This will benefit the animals more so than what we had before. Right now, station number two is the only station with a Fido bag, but Mike's hoping to get one to every station in the city. Thanks to Mike and Rusty and Gunner here to uh, treat our patients, whether they're four-legged animals or two-legged. Neighbors helping neighbors. It's amazing. We all got to work together to benefit the city and the citizens. So. I love this. Mm -hmm. You know, the pet lover in me just melted in the store. What, what could you want more with? The first responders and then cute mm -hmm. dogs, you know? Absolutely. Okay, so if people would like to help out, what's the price point on these bags right now? So they're starting at around $150, and you can actually go to our website right now, and you can see the Fido Bags website and check that out, and if you want to help out a little bit more with that. Mike is getting some help, though, right? So he's actually going to be teaming up with a local business. That's House of Hounds here in Charleston, mm -hmm. and they're going to be trying to get every station in the city one of those bags. Awesome. That's a wonderful idea. Indeed. Thank you, Hannah. Mm-hmm.